to Question of Sport. I'm on with the questions. Hopefully the captains and the guests have got the answers. Let's meet the teams. Alongside Sam is an English Premiership rugby champion and a three-time world champion gymnast. It's Beth Tweddle and Joe Marler. is a sprinter with world and Olympic medals and a record-breaking swimmer who is that good they've named a beer after him. <laughs> hey! Okay. Hey! Okay. It's Mark Foster. Oh, sorry, we're on the BBC. Other beers are available. <laughs> and Emmanuel Lara Hansiko. Go, Mark! Welcome! Welcome! How are you feeling, you go? I have a serious team, full of speed, world champion, and the princess of Peckham. I'm oh, buzzing. I love it. Oh, I love it. All over it. <laughs> what about you, Sam? <laughs> I'm excited. I think we've got a good mix of knowledge. Um, Why did you turn to me? I said a good mix of knowledge. Yeah, but then you turned to me. <laughs> Can we retake that, please? And I've got a really good mix of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, these questions aren't going to ask themselves, Eddie. Let's crack on. Tonight with an opening rally where the teams take it in turns to give their answers. You only have 10 seconds per answer, miss your turn, and play goes over to the other team. Okay, so you've got to think quickly. Name a European golfer who has won a men's major championship since 2000. You go, we're going to start with your team. You've got six guesses each. Rory McIlroy. Correct. Garcia. Correct. Ian Poulter. Incorrect. Oh. Sam? Patrick Harrington. Correct. Jordan Spieth. Not European. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry, he's not cut it, Mark. <laughs> Sam? Has Molinari done anything? Who? Molinari done anything? Molinari? What? Molinari. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Ten seconds. Nicholas is marathon. My mind's gone blank. My mind's gone blank as well. When you go. Yeah. Okay, back to Sam. Oh. Sam, come to me, back. John Rahm. Correct. Right. European. Right. Yep. <gasps> Patrick Harrington. We've had that. Back to Sam. Oh, she put it on me because she doesn't have it. She got sure. Justin Rose. Correct. Okay, you go. Last guess. Darren Clark. Good show. Good show. Sam, last guess. Danny Willett. Correct. Well done. OK, so the ones you missed, Henrik Stenson, Martin Keimer, Shane Lowry, Graham McDowell. OK, all right, not so bad, though. Good, decent start, that. Don't worry about it. Oh, I say that, I've just looked at you go score. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Hugo's team are on two, Sam's team, six. It's time to play Name the Year. Watch closely as you not only have to try and work out the year, but there'll be some general questions too. Have a look at this. Yeah, this is quite good. <laughs> A second Wimbledon title. How many more will there potentially be? That was one of the most special performances that I think we've ever witnessed on centre court in a final here. It's Barker, it's Trot, it's Archibald, it's goal for Great Britain. Just about over and operating at times. Sunogo clicks in the air, it might break to Shiru. Shiru steps over the ball. Ramsey! And Ramsey scores for Arsenal in added time here at Wembley. Okay, first up, name the year, writing in your tablets. Did you say year? Year. Say again. Year. 
Not here. <laughs> no, no. You're obsessed with all. I, gen yeah. I genuinely thought you said, name that ear. <laughs> and I was looking at that VT like, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Some of the cyclists, you can't even see their ears. Oh, the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got to walk, Tim? I think so, yeah. yeah right. Yes. All right, yeah. let's have a look what you put. Both gone with 2014, I can tell you. You're both right. Well done. All right, some questions on that year now. Sam's team. Who did the Seattle Seahawks beat in the Super Bowl that year? Oh, you can ask that. What? I'm writing a little list. <laughs> and then I got stuck on that one. <laughs> right. They won it in that year. Yeah. And then the year after, they were going for back-to-back -back Super Bowls, but they lost against the New England Patriots, so they didn't do that. Classic Malcolm Butler interception. Oh, you know everything <laughs> except the answer. <laughs> I, I feel there's a bit of a domestic going on over there tonight, really. It's, yeah, it's constructive pressure. Yeah, I quite like it. We're on, the, we're on that level of like relationship yeah. where we can, can't we, Joe? Yeah. yeah, so the answer. So the answer. <laughs> right, so... When did the that was Pittsburgh Steelers do it? What about the Green Bay Packers? Stop, Joe, you're confusing. Oh. <laughs> 2019 New England Early. Philadelphia New England 2018. <laughs> 2018. <laughs> I'm going to go for Panthers in 2016. What are you going for? Panthers in 2016. You said who were they against? Not 2016. It was 2014. 2014. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Dear me. <laughs> to just double check on that one myself. I'm going to go for the Broncos. Where's that come from? <laughs> I have no idea, Joe. Oh, I think it is. Do you reckon? Yeah, with um, Manning. Peyton Manning. What was your 2016 guess? Uh, Panthers. It definitely wasn't the Panthers. They've only been to that Super Bowl once. Yeah, absolutely spot on. It's the Broncos. Well done. Well done. All right. You go, team. Brian O'Driscoll was playing his final game for Ireland. Well, He's the you. top international try scorer, yeah. but who is next on the list? Keith Owls would be up there. Tommy Bow would be another one. My automatic uh, reaction was yeah. to say Keith Owls. He's this is for Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Yeah. He's played. Do I not feel bad about I think it's. I think it's. Go with your instinct. Yeah, okay, I'll go with my instinct. Go with your instinct. Um, Keith Earls. Great show, mate. Team mate, spot on. Always go for the gut instinct. Go for the gut instinct. Okay, Sam's team. Petra Kvitova was winning her second Wimbledon title. Which country does she represent? <laughs> Sorry. Please don't get me to say that again. <laughs> I know. Don't, don't. Please don't. You want to see me in a French restaurant? <laughs> Le Gascon. <laughs> this. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Do you want to give it again? Petra Kvitova was winning her second Wimbledon title. Which country does she represent? Wearing I, white. I, I was there. No, you weren't. I went to the women's Wimbledon final. In 2014? Against Bouchard. And her name's Petra Kvitova. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know where she's from. Okay, so you've visualised what you're wearing. Live, sit back, close your eyes. Sit back, close your eyes. You yeah. arrived, you're wearing that outfit. Yeah. You walk to your seat, you sit yeah. down, and there's yeah. a big, massive board with Kvitova on it. Yeah. Against Bouchard. Miss. Miss. What, what, does it, what does the little three letters say where she's from next Croatia. to Croatia. Yeah? yeah? Don't know. <laughs> I want to say Croatia. Or you got an idea? Yeah. You go. I think so, yeah. Okay. Croatia. Oh, it could be that, yeah. Oh, one of them, isn't it? From Croatia. Welcome. From Croatia. That sounds like it should. Do you want to go Croatia? Yeah, I'd really like to. Is that how the intro at Wimbledon now? Welcome from Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone walks in like, hey, all right. That's how it was that year. 
it's changed since, but it was definitely like that. I liked his visualisation to get it. Yeah, that was really okay, good technique. Go. Let's do it. Yeah. Croatia. Got an idea over there. It's not right, Croatia. Czech Republic. Oh, correct. Oh, <laughs> Look how clever you look on the telly. Fantastic. OK, Hugo's team. Arsenal were beating Hull City in the FA Cup final. Who did they beat 4-0 in the final the following year? Come on, Hugo. Massive Arsenal fan. Arsenal fan as well. It's the sort of thing I wouldn't remember. You go. Uh, to be fair, Mark, if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd just, yeah, that one out. I feel like it's quite an important thing for an Arsenal fan. I mean, come on. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, on, that's it. <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not going to have been a Chelsea. It's not going to be a Man U, is it? It's not going to be a big... T I wouldn't have thought so. No, not a 4 now. Surprised, FA Cup. Hmm? Yeah. Got an idea? Ish. Genuinely can't believe right. you don't know this. I'm Leicester. I Brighton. was thinking that, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> <laughs> say? Just say it. Oh, I've, got it I've got it wrong. Wolves. After all that deliberation, you were wrong. <laughs> Any ideas over there? It was about Aston Villa. Correct! <laughs> oh, man. At the end of that round, the scores are Hugo's team on four, Sam's team on eight. In this next game, you'll be using the names of the stars you'll see to make up a well-known mm -hmm. phrase. It could be a TV show, a landmark, a saying, basically it could be anything. I absolutely mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. this round. Here we go. Sam, your team are up first. What can you make out of these three? Could be absolutely anything. So that's Jensen button number three. So what, you have to use all the letters? All the surnames or parts of the name. <laughs> Who have you got straight away there, Sam? We've got Jensen Button yeah. and Sinisa Lee. OK, so... Lee Button. That's a cricketer, isn't it? Oh, go on. Lee Button. Le Button. No, no, no. Lee Button. No, no. What does Lee, she say? It's a cricketer, Lee Sam. Button. What? Lee say Button. Th Lee Button. <laughs> Lee Button. Her Lee Button. What's before that? Uh, what his did name. she think his name was? I thought it was Owen Morgan, but I don't know if it is. Owen Lee Button. Owen Lee Button. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> have you got it out there? Are we just being really stupid? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what's his name? Lee Button. His name's Lee Button. No, that's, your, that's the last two surnames. You got Sunny Sa Morgan Lee. Lee Button. Who? Morgan Lee Morgan. Button. That well-known whatever that is. <laughs> Lee Button. <laughs> Lee Button. Who's Lee, Lee Button? Button? What goes before Lee Button? <laughs> Cricket Lee Button. <laughs> Lee Button. Give me an accent which it sounds better. Loose Lee. Loose. No. Loose Lee. No. Bruce. Bruce. No. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee Button. Oh What's his name? You will kick yourself. Ty, the, Ty Lee Button. Is it meant to be. Is it the same as the French accent? Fusion. No, no. <laughs> Ty, right, let's think, let's, think, let's, think, let's, think, let's think smartly about this now. Right, go on. <laughs> what do you do with buttons? Tie, f button. I said fasten. <laughs> Lee button. Why do you keep saying Lee button? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Lee button. Because that's when Paddy says it and it makes sense when he's like Lee button. And I'm like, yeah. Right, you got no idea. Yeah? Lee yeah. button. Eyebrows. Everybody, everybody in this room knows it. And everyone watching at home knows it. Eyebrows. There's three people in the UK who do not know it. What do you do with the button? Tie it, fasten it. Push. Push the button. Push, push the button. Push the button. Push the button. No, because that can't be push, can it? Come on. Pop it. the button. I'm, I honestly... Push I, the button. I know right, I'm going to need an answer. Poorly. You know, like, oh, <laughs> poorly button. <laughs> like you're saying it to your child. It's like, oh, oh it's, it's going to be so button. embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> 
I'm going to have to move on. Something Audience, what is it? Belly button. Belly button. <laughs> Unbelievable. When you were going poorly like that, I was thinking you were going to go, oh, belly button. I call it the newt newt. Maybe that's why. I see a bell. Belly button. Oh. Belly button. Oh, my word. I enjoyed that, though. <laughs> Oh, showing off. Right, OK, you go. Let's see if you can beat that. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK, have a look at this one. Oh, this is another belter, by the way. Oh, I love this game. Do you know any of them? The third guy. Third guy. Yeah. Used to yeah. Play for United. Yeah. Fortune. Oh, hang on. Yeah. It's not. Must. Is that Quentin Fortune? It's not. Yes, yeah, Quentin Fortune. It's not Wheel of Fortune, is it? No. I think. The, I think. I'm pretty sure in the middle is Katie Hoff. Katie Hoff. Wheel, Wheel of Hoff. Fortune. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, we're not messing around. <laughs> We're not messing around. That's Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Welsh rugby forward, Jeff Wheel, American swimmer, Katie Hoff, South African football, used to be United, Quentin Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. Fantastic. Sam's team, this time we're giving you four. <laughs> and look how quick Hugo's team got it. You must know the second one in. Which one? From your left, if you're looking at your screen. But Football. The Blackburn. Is it Blackburn? Right. Yeah. What's the name? I can tell you the club. City United. Brian. Yeah. Go on. Clough. Who? What? Brian. Yeah. Oh my God, I got that. Is it See, I've been put off by this belly button stuff now, my mind's gone. <laughs> All I'm thinking of is, like, big toe, little finger. It's not a body part, I'll oh, give you good. that. Thanks. Right, it's not a body part, this one. It's not a TV show. His, to his top, I think, is too tight. Right, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and now, he's got a rig, it's OK, it's fine, because if I was no wearing that, I'd be in trouble. But I still think it's too tight on him. Does that help him? Do we know who the captain is? Have you got an idea roughly what it is? We know three of mine. It, this is a yeah. tough one, I've got to say. Yeah. What three have you got? <laughs> um, I'm not saying. Cool. I was trying to build some sort of suspense for the audience and stuff like that. If you don't want to play ball, I don't think, I'm not sure if the audience... Is. Have you got an Are idea? Does anyone have it? Good show. This is a tricky one. To, I, I, I do think the one whose name you're searching for will give you a little bit of an in. And you know what? I can't, I can't literally, like, genuinely, this is a really strange sensation. I feel like someone's just... Joe, stop asking the audience. We what? can see you. It's on the telly. <laughs> stop cheating. No, don't believe in uh, <laughs> the <laughs> I've got a clue. Right, OK. That's terrible. That's no one near it. We're going to get... No, we're not. Move it it's not a point for you, but we'll just see if they know it. Tell me some of the names. Kid. Brian Kidd. Kid. Brian Kidd, yeah. Me on the end, Ben Lee. Yes. So it's Kidd something, me, Kidd Lee, me. So I'll give you what it is. So first one, Ghanaian footballer, Jordan Ayu. Are, are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get in! <laughs> <laughs> Brian K, Ding, Jun, Wee and Ben Me. Oh, terrible. Here we go, Hugo's team. This was, this was a lot later. You can confer out loud, it doesn't go over. Okay, the last one is Catherine Merry. Correct. Oh, OK. The last one is... <sighs> Have you got it? I think if you got the last one, you'd nail I it. Think the it's, first girl as I well. think it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. The last one's Lamb, Ryan Lamb. Oh. Mary Had a Little Lamb? Yeah, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Correct. Oh. <laughs> How quick it is, isn't it? <laughs> Catherine, Mary Had a Little and Ryan Lamb. At the end of that round, Hugo's team are on six, Sam's team are on eight. <laughs> Thank you.
Our guests are in the spotlight now. They will each be getting a question on their own sport. Get it right, and their captain will be sliding a disc to win points. Get it wrong, though, and the captain will be faced with the bad board. Ooh. Ooh. And points will be taken away. OK. Joe, we're coming to you first. Yeah. Who scored a try on his 50th cap in 2020 and later that year against Georgia became the first player in his position to score a hat-trick of tries for England? So later on in yeah. 2020... It's a random position. Jamie George. Yeah. Yes! 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 Oh, right, OK, Stan, that's one half of it. You need to be aiming for that five. Come on, let's go. Right, sit down. Lee Button. Calm down a bit. Oh, pick up <laughs> Lee Slider. Right, Ben, if you get this and I get a five, oh. I'm getting my belly button out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the money. Who won a World Championship Relay Bronze in Doha and was her country's only Olympic 100 metre finalist in Tokyo? So who's in the final in Tokyo? So there are three Jamaicans, two Swiss, one Brit. Mm -hmm. That's six, is it six? One American. And one of those lot got a bronze in Doha. There's one other, there's one other lane. Yeah. One Ivory Coast. Did they win, so, did they win a relay in Doha? I think they came... Bird. Okay, that's great. So I think it's Tiana Daniels. What a show Good for the USA. Well earned. <laughs> well, the pressure's off now. Right, you go. We need a five oh, pal. Come on. On you go. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Two thirds Paddy. Paddy. Oh, two five thirds. in. Paddy. Two thirds Paddy. I'm gonna give it you. I'm gonna give it you. I'm gonna give it you. Well, that, that was a four. Oh, it was a nuts. Here we go. Right, okay. Beth. Not now. <laughs> Which gymnast won four medals at the 2021 European Championships, which included gold in the uneven bars? That was your thing, wasn't it, Beth? I thought you were going to give me a bit of action there and tell me what she won in Tokyo, and that would have sealed it. What are you thinking? I want to say Angelina Melnikova. You want to say it, or you are saying it? I'm going to say it. Sure. Correct. Oh, Good man. show. Come on. OK. Big pressure now. Big pressure. We need another five here, Sam. Right, come on. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, he's still going. Oh, two points. Two points. That's OK. We'll take it. We'll take it. Pick it up. I just didn't want to get my belly button out on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mark. Last one now. By winning the men's 400 metres freestyle in Tokyo, a swimmer from which country collected only the fifth Olympic gold medal in any sport? It was an African nation and it was Tunisia. Oh, bingo! Bingo! You go. Now, looking at the scores, a five. Oh, it'll make things very interesting. Okay, here we go. Take your time, you go. Take your time. Oh, standing, standing. Oh, 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 he's done it! Oh, wow, OK. Oh, man, here we go. That's made things very interesting. At the end of that round, Sam's team are on 15, Hugo's team, 16. <laughs> Round to see a win tonight, and as always, it'll be decided on the buzzer. It's one point for a correct answer, but one away if you are wrong, and there's one point separating both teams. 
Here we go. Arsenal were beaten by which newly promoted side on the opening day of this season? Brentford. Correct. Which male Spanish gymnast won an Olympic silver medal on floor in Tokyo? Zapala. Zapa. Zapalata. We'll give it you. Zapata. Wrigley Field has played host to games from which sport? NFL. No. Baseball. Baseball, yes. In 2018, Georgia Hall won the British Open in which sport? Golf. Correct. Which Scotland player was the top try scorer in the 2021 season? Doing Van der Berger. Correct. The Canucks and Whitecaps are professional sports teams based in which North American? Canada. Vancouver, it was City at the oh, end there. No, Sorry. you meant country. Okay. <laughs> Who did Great Britain's women hockey team beat in the bronze medal match at the Tokyo? India. Correct. The LTA governs which sport? Oh, time's up. Oh. Okay. So at the end of the game, the final scores are Sam's team on 16, Hugo's team on 18. Oh. 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 I tell you what, though, a point away on the buzzer, and if you'd have got Lee Button, <laughs> we'd have been drawn tonight. He ain't gonna haunt you that one. Every time I look in the mirror now, I see belly button. <laughs> belly button. <laughs> It's the Marnie's first ever win on Question of Sport this as well. Isn't really oh! Good. <laughs> yes, in, here we go. Well, Hugo, how are you feeling, pal? I'm buzzing. I'll tell you what, it was the fives on the slide away that brought you right back into Skill it. Skill on that. Yeah, Mate. Thank you. Say it loud, bro. You're going to win for Olympics next time. <laughs> That's all we've got time for tonight. A huge thanks to all of our guests and the three of us. We'll see you next time. Ta-ra!